Hi there. Today's project is going to be a little different. It's not strictly a woodworking project. It's a part that I need to build for a project I have in mind and it includes a ball and socket joint. Now the socket is going to be made of wood but the ball is going to be on the end of this threaded rod. Now I'm not a metal worker, I don't have a metal lathe, but I do have a wood lathe and a lot of files and apparently a little bit of patience because this is going to take a while. So I hope you'll stick around and enjoy it. I want to know how to make a ball and socket joint. We'll learn together. First I'll put the ball on the rod. Measures exactly 7 sixteenths of an inch. I want to come back that 7 sixteenths. Find the right groove. And that's where I will start filing. This took a long time to do, so we'll speed it up a lot. Between the magic of editing and speeding up the video, what took me almost an hour, you can watch in about four minutes. Now I'm filing to form the neck, which is what I'll call the area between the ball and the threads.
the completed ball is not a perfect sphere, but it does not really need to be. Now it's time to turn our attention to the socket. This is a one and a quarter inch square blank. I'm about to drill a quarter inch hole through the center of it. That quarter inch hole will be big enough to fit around the neck below the ball. Now a quick look at shaping the socket. I have sanded it now down to 280 grit, which I consider sufficient. I've got to mark one inch from the end. That's where I want to cut it off. I'm going to part it off right now. Now I'll just cut it off the rest of the way with a saw. It's just hanging on there by a thread. There we go. Now I need to cut this in half as accurately as I can. I've made a mark on the center, two of them across from each other, and I need to cut in a straight line, if I can, down through this socket. Now I will need to chisel out the area for the ball to fit into. I'm not a wood carver, so I don't have a lot of good carving tools. What I have is a sharp knife, a couple of detail chisels, and a rotary tool. And I'm hoping with the use of those tools, I'll be able to carve out the notch that I need in here to fit that ball into. Now this is going to take me some time and I don't imagine you want to sit there watching it anyway so I'll come back when I've got it finished. Two pieces are hollowed out ready to, to accept the ball. Swivels nicely will work real well with the project I have in mind. Now if you wanted to do a ball and socket joint like this with all wood, you would just need a dowel or a piece of wood you want to turn, put a ball on the end of it like that, the neck here, and you'd be ready to go. I'm going to glue these together with the ball in there. I'm going to put some paste wax around the ball just to make sure it doesn't stick. I don't think the glue would stick to it, but I'm not taking any chances.
Elastic bands pulled tightly do a great job of clamping round objects together. Well, that finishes this project. It swivels just like I want it to. Maybe this will give you a hint if someday you need to use a ball and socket joint for something. Hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you will watch for the project I have in mind to use this in. Hope to have it out before too long. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be safe in your shop. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care now.